Indeed, in the kingdom of God, the way up is down. That is, dying to self, giving up your right to your pride. Amen. And in the book of Philippians, chapter 2, Paul writing to the church in Philippi is very explicit in bringing this point out. In chapter 2, verse 3, he says, Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Indeed, when you become nothing, God will elevate you and make you something. From a nobody to a somebody. you got to be empty to be full. Your pride needs to go. Give God the chance to operate in your lives. Because if God is not operating, then you are operating in the flesh. And the flesh will lead you astray. I implore you by God's mercy today to let the Holy Spirit take control and lead you from today onwards. Bringing joy and fulfillment in your life. Amen. Again, friends, what a conflicting perplexing statement the way up is down yes friends it may not make sense to you but if it makes sense to you then you don't need the faith you don't need to change because you're being led by the flesh by your own understanding and your own thinking friends in Philippians 2 again in verse 4 Paul is again impressing upon our hearts and he says don't look only for your own interests but take an interest in others too what a powerful statement friends such a selfless statement and too many of us are guilty of being selfish paul is again employing us to take on the attitude and the mind of christ when we esteem others better than ourselves what do we do we shut the door to the attack of the demons of pride that's right and it's the same pride that caused lucifer that once the chief archangel in heaven to fall that's right his pride went for a fall amen how many of us friends today are, are allowing our pride to get in the way we got to be emptied, friends, for God to fill us. That's right. we got to be empty. In verse 7 of that same chapter 2, Paul says again, Instead, he gave us his divine privileges. He, he took the humble position of slave and was born a human being. Paul is talking about Jesus Christ. Listen, he was sitting at the right hand of the Father. The Father in heaven. That's right. The highest position, friend. And He gave up all of that for you and I. There's no. And if Jesus can do that, how much more must we be humble to glorify His name? Again, verse 8 says, He humbled Himself in obedience to God. And died a criminal's death on a cross. Yes, friends. And you know, when you start dying to self and killing the flesh, friends, God will elevate you. You don't need man's applause. You need God's approval. And that chapter, kind of, or the verse 9 of that chapter 2, kind of sums it all. Because of Jesus' obedience, and selflessness verse 9 of Philippians 2 says therefore and whenever you find that word therefore it's there for a reason God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all names that is the name of at the name of Jesus every knee will bow in heaven on earth and beneath the earth and every tongue confess that he is king of kings lord of lords to the glory of the father Amen. 
What a statement, friends. What an awesome, awesome task it is to serve others in an unselfish manner. God is counting on you. That's how we spread the gospel. Amen. Ridding ourselves of pride. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, we come in no other name, Dad, but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for your word that speaks straight into our spirit, Father. And today we're so guilty of trying to, Lord, through our human nature, just walk into any situation and trying, Lord, to be that number one, to be that person where people are always going to look up to. And giving the flesh a chance, Lord, to take control. But today we humble ourselves. We esteem others better than us because we know the God we serve. We know who we are in you. We don't need man to puff us up. We already know that you know us as the apple of your eye. So today, Father, we empty ourselves of everything that doesn't belong to you. Use us mightily, we pray. Lord, having no pride, that's right, Daddy. Take away all of that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, the way up in God's kingdom is down. Until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels, praying that you remain touched and changed. In Jesus' mighty name, stay blessed.